Shinzo Abe funeral. World figures fly into political storm over state service for Japan former prime ministers. The U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly will be among foreign dignitaries arriving in Japan to attend a state funeral for the assassinated former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Despite strong public opposition to the ceremony. They will be among about 700 people from overseas, including 50 formers and current leaders, who are expected to attend the funeral in Tokyo on Tuesday, almost three months after Abe was shot dead while making campaign speech. Public opinion was split when six days after Abe's death, the prime minister Fumio Kishida said his predecessor would be in for a state funeral. But opposition has intensified in the recent week amid a torrent of revelation about ties between Abe's Liberal Democratic Party, now led by Kishida, and the Unification Church. The suspect in Abe's shooting on the 8th of July, Tatsuya Yamagani, has told investigator he targeted the politician because of his tie to the church, whose members are commonly known as Munis. Yamagami reportedly said he harbored a two-decade grudge against the church after his mother, a member, donated a huge sum of money to the organization and bankrupted his family. Abe was not a member of the church, but sent a congratulatory video message to a church affiliate event last autumn, found in South Korea in 1954 by the self-proclaimed message Sun Myung Moon. The church was encouraged to establish a presence in Japan by Abe's grandfather and post-war prime minister Nobusuke Kishi, as a counter to communism and trade unionism. The organization, known for its mass wedding, has been accused of pressuring believers into making donations they cannot afford. Claims it had denied. After Abe's shooting exposed serious error by officers responsible for protecting him. Organizer have planned strict security measures near the funeral venue. Roads around the Budokan will be closed, and airspace will be restricted from Monday until Wednesday. Ten of thousands of police officer, include about two thousand five hundred from outside the capital, have been deployed, and sniffer dogs have been patrolling major railway station and Haneda Airport in recent day. Japanese media revelations that other members of the LDP. And a much smaller number from other parties had attended church events or sought help from their members. Has donated the domestic news for weeks. A survey conducted by the party found that 179 of its 379 lawmaker had interacted with the church. But a call for Kishida for the party MPs to cut their ties to the church has done little to quell growing anger at plans to spend an estimate of 1.65 billion. Estimated about twelve million dollars on the funeral, most of which will be go on security and hostage foreign delegation. While Abe's economic and security police received largely positive reviews abroad, he continued to be a decisive figure at home. Critics say he dragged the country to the right, treated the constitution with contempt, and presided over an administration admired. In chronism, and sees Abe as implicated in major scandal, but went on to become Japan's longest-serving leader shortly before he resigned, citing poor health in 2020. The 4,300 funeral guests will include the Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, as well as three of his predecessor, Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, and the European Council President Charles Michel. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.